On 23 June, 12 boys and their football coach walked into a cave after football practice in northern Thailand. The boys, who are part of the Mu Potter Wild Boars football team, became trapped when heavy rains flooded the Tham Luang cave and cut off their escape route. All 12 boys and their coach have been freed from the cave. FEW details about the group have been released. Here is what we know about the boys and their coach, the youngest in the team. Titan started playing football at age 7 before joining his school's sports club. He was later invited to join the Wild Boars football club. According to Naprit Kantaon, the head coach of the football team, Meg is bigger than other kids his age, but he is agile. The captain of the Wild Boars, Dom, has reportedly been scouted by several professional clubs in Thailand. He is said to be a motivator and respected by his team for his football skills. Players on the field need a captain like this because sometimes the coach can't get in to solve their problems, Nopra told the BBC. Adul was born in Myanmar's self governing Wa state and left his family behind to get a better education in Thailand, according to the AFP news agency. He speaks Thai, Burmese, Chinese, and English and was the only one able to communicate with the British divers when the group was first discovered. While trapped in the cave, the boys and their relatives exchanged letters carried by the rescue divers. Adul told his parents he missed them and not to worry. Mom and dad want to see your face, his parents wrote. Mom and dad pray for you and your friends so we can see each other soon. Pong is a cheerful boy, he likes football and every sport. He dreams of becoming a footballer for the Thai national team, his teacher Manutsan and Kuntan told AFP. Mark has been described by his teacher as a very respectful. His father Thinakarn Bunthiam told AFP that his son is a good boy who loves to study almost as much as football. In a letter to his parents, Turn told them not to worry about him. Dad and Mum are not angry at you and do not blame you, his parents wrote, adding they were waiting for him in front of the cave. Knight went missing on his birthday, and his parents say they are still waiting to hold his party. According to reports, the boys went into the cave to celebrate Knight's birthday. They were said to have brought treats and snacks along with them. These supplies likely helped sustain the group in the many days spent trapped inside the cave. In a letter to his mother, Bu promised to help her at the shop once he was rescued. Note has been described by family friends as a smart, quiet guy. In his letter, Nick told his parents he wants to go for Makatha or Tybar back when he comes out of the cave. Don't worry, I'm very happy said T in a letter to his parents. AKD was reportedly born in Myanmar and lost his parents at a young age. Before becoming a football coach, he spent several years as a Buddhist monk 
and learned how to conserve energy by restricting movements and meditating. According to local news reports, he taught these techniques to the boys in the cave. In his letter, Ake apologized to the parents for taking the boys into the cave network, but several replied to say they did not blame him. I promise I will take care of the kids as best as I can, Ake wrote. Some media reports suggest when the group was found, Ake was weakest, having refused to eat any of the food they had brought with them, giving it instead to the boys. His note also included a message to both his aunt and grandmother, informing them that he was fine. Do not worry too much about me. Take good care of your health, he wrote, adding, please prepare vegetable juice and pork rind for me.